very beautiful evening to you all, listener, great uh, Nigerians, wherever you are listening to us. Um, it is a program, my call to my pride on our forces radio. My name is Hope Joseph. Of course, the program, my call to my pride, is a program designed to showcase a diverse cultural heritage of our dear nation, Nigeria, with over 250 ethnic groups, 527 languages, and 1,150 dialects in the country with 36 states plus federal capital territory making it 37. My Culture, My Pride is a program that looks at different cultural rights and belief as it concerns marriage, institution, funeral, festivals, coronation, dress code, rituals, among others. And of course, on today's edition of the program, we shall be looking at the Kuru tribe of Nasarawa State. And um, the topic we'll be looking at as well is um, the importance of local languages uh, key to national development and using Koro tribe, Koro people as a case study. So I have with me in the studio a very respectful individuals um, vested with um, this um, knowledge or information, or let me say, of Koro tribe. And I, I hope at the end of the day, you will know uh, about this tribe so that when you find yourself, well, today, uh, tomorrow, you can understand and understand their culture and what makes them unique in their different ways. That is what the program is all about, understanding different culture and tribe and, of course, learning and, of course, to promote peace and unity in Nigeria. It's a privilege to have with me Mr. Ibrahim Mohamed Kwagana. You're welcome to the program, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. All right, so I also have with me um, Ishaya okay, Laban, a.k.a. Ajakolo. Yes, good evening, all. Okay, you're welcome to the program. Okay, uh, listener, I hope at the end of the day, um, they would do justice to the, the program we have today look, talking about the Kuru tribe of um, uh, Nasarawa State. Okay, let's start like this. Okay, tell us, uh, Mr. Ibrahim, uh, tell us, let's have a brief history of Kuru people. Well, uh, good evening, my listener at home. Mm. The topic is not particular to Nasarawa, okay. but rather to look at Kuru in Nigeria, in Nigeria, okay. Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Kuru, as we all know, they originated from Yemen. Yemen is in eastern part of Mecca, that is Southern Arab Peninsula. Okay. In twelve. 19th century. Okay. In Yemen, Kuro and Juku are half brothers. That is, they are born of the same mother, but different father. Kuro and Juku. And Juku. They are half brothers. Yes, they, they are, are brothers. Half brothers. Mm -hmm. Born by the same mother, but different Palace. father. The father of the Kuro and Juku came from the same ethnic group. Koro is the elder brother. The actual name being given is Jijili, not even Koro. Event unfolding make them to migrate from Yemen to pass through Egypt, spend some years there, and later resided in a place called Sangu or Inga Sargamu, which is southern part of Borno State mm. and in the eastern part of Benin. Mm. They resided in the river basin area then. Mm. As they were there, other ethnic groups came and settled with them. They formed a confederation where Kuro and the rulers in that very confederation. Mm -hmm. 
the place where Paul resided in that in Sagar in Sagagama, or some go, we call it Apa in Koro language. Okay. Apa, which means cave. Okay. There are dominantly caves in that area where the Corona resided. Mm. To that place, there was later named Kororofa mm. or Kwarafa, okay. as I also call it. Mm. The actual name they bear, or Korobia, is Jijili. That's the name mm. of the place. Jijili. Mm. Jijili. J -I -J -I -L -I. L -I. Mm. It was in Kororofa that the name Koro was being tagged by the officers mm -hmm. because of their too much attachment and frequent move with what we call Ovro. Ovro, uh, Ovro. Ovro means Kororo in Hausa. Mm. So for them to easily identify them, they now use that Ovro, which is Kororo, and they are calling them Koro. That is where even the name Koro came from. Okay. But the actual name is Jijili, which is up to now. Mm. So each time a Koro man goes out without that of Roads Kororo, the outside man will now ask Kororo Fa. Mm. That is, where is your back? back. Where is your back? Where is your back? Mm. That is how that Kororo Fa or Kororo Fa Came into into okay. They have been in existence, unity, peace, and loving together with the diverse ethnic group there, okay. not until the invaders <laughs> continuously <laughs> coming there to invade okay. the environment. So being a peace loving people, <laughs> the corona decided to what? To leave Deep. the place hmm. and then separate it to other parts okay. of the country. So that then the event has did a lot of it's a lot good, of good in this guy. Yes. Okay. They'll be invading uh, waging war against them. So that made them to scatter. Yes. And it is a, it is, it is a good one now, right? Yeah. Because we are, we are <laughs> peacemakers. A good war. Yeah, good war. <laughs> and the one that even conquered it all, for it to even left the pre area, is the nineteenth century Fulani jihad of Sokoto Caliphate. That's Reduce them into smaller or smaller half, and they separated mm. around the country. Then we don't even have some of these states. But they went and started in Kano. Up to now, up to now, if you go to Kano, we have Anguakoro in Kano. Mm. They move to Zaria. Mm. They move to Likoro. Okay. That Likoro is a Koro settlement, okay. which up to now. They are calling it a call up now. Okay. They move to Jiri, move to Kubata, Katugal. All these areas are in Kaduna State. Mm. Some of them again migrated to the part of Lafia, Kepi, Pandan as a natural state. Mm. Others spread it across Abuja. That is Settled at Zuma, or precisely the Zuma Rock. Others went to Asokoro, Abuji, in Abuja metropolis. Those from the Jere moved to what we are called Yele Kase. Yele Kase is the tribal name, which is now called Kano. Okay, we, we, okay, because of time, we may not be. <laughs> it's like you really want to <laughs> take it step by step, but because of time, we will not be able to okay. you know, Break it. look at it generally. We have other things we want people to know okay. about uh, the Koro, pe uh, Koro people. And of course, you rightly said that Koro is not just a national state, they are all over the country. Yes. And of course, there's something unique about the region, just mentioned that there are two. Like um, you mentioned, a tribe uh, that have something together. You know, they are all from the same mother. I don't know if I'm right, yeah. but um, the truth is this: um, let us look at other aspects of what makes Koro tribe unique. Because the history you are giving us now is quite interesting. But because of time, we don't need to take all. No problem. <laughs> okay, so, so, that, so what makes the tribe unique? We talk of Koro people and um, Koro tribe. What makes this tribe unique? Yeah. Uh, when people say, when they see you, they say, look, you talk like a Koro person. 
you being like a cool person? What is that thing that makes you unique? Yeah, there are many things that make them unique. Mm, okay. But because of the time constraints, mm, we'll not be able to look to look at major ones. Them all. Look at major ones. One of the major things that make them unique is in the aspect of their social cultural ceremonies. Oh wow. Particularly Jaza. When we say Jaza, we're talking about referring to naming ceremony. Mm. Continue. Okay, but referring to <laughs> naming ceremony. Okay. If a child is being born, mm. the child will be allowed to stay for seven days mm. until the umbilical cord is removed. Is removed. Mm. Seven days. Seven days. Wow. Then the grandfather in that family will gather with other neighbors mm. to have full water in the calabash, and then he will now be calling them throwing charcoal inside the calabash. If the charcoal sank or sink, it means that the child did not accept the name. Mm. Ah. But if it yes. remains, mm. then it means that the child has accepted. Oh, the, the child name. must accept the name. Yes. But the child is a child that is not up to he's, he's, five he's, years or he's, five months. He's, okay. He's, 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 cultural, heritage, mm. spiritual yeah. and inclined. <laughs> Yeah. You know, for for it's about to sink into a water. Yeah, yeah. It means <laughs> it's it's still still yeah, and, yeah. Hmm. The one other area is their perforated ear. Hmm. The okay. female have very long perforated ear. Long one. Very very long one. Hmm. Where if you even put your hand, three hands can even enter. Ah. Yes. <laughs> and then the use of very long, uh, what do you call it? Earring. Something. No, like not earring. That's uh, the. What do you call it? They, they use it to smoke cigarettes with it. Okay. I don't smoke it's outside, outside, outside tobacco. Outside tobacco. Yeah. <laughs> very long one. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. mm. They're very unique in that nature. Okay. Uh -huh. They like smoking. They like smoking. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. These are the major things. Yeah, major things. We see yeah, that too. The Koro tribe. Yeah. Let's look at the marital. There's something I said about the child. So yeah. at the time, it, uh, if the child grows up, can the child decide to say, Daddy, I, I, I'm not comfortable with the name of the child, we have no choice to accept the name? Or has it to do with the gods of the land? Yeah, it has to do with the gods of the land. Okay. But mm. that traditional name has to be there. Mm, okay, no matter it, what. It can be given another religious name. name. Oh, okay, but it's in the name just like this. Yes. yes. That but that name must be there. Must be there. Mm. Yeah. That must be there. I don't know if I have anything to add to that. Oh, is that all about? Or we should leave it for now. Just leave it. Okay. All right. Let's Thanks look at uh, my two right of Koro people. Yeah. So, what is the step? Yeah. Mm. Unlike what is obtaining my other tribe, mm. it is the parents that are involved. Okay. In the marital affairs. Yes. yes. When a female child is being born, mm. it towards that time. Parent or the father of the male child, when he was at the age of four, will now visit the house of the newborn female child mm. and sort a hand in marriage. He will go alongside with a very big firewood, guinea rice, that we we'll call it acha. 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 And then that's what we call otala, gamba grass. A roll of gamba grass will be taken to the parent of the female. What what is the significance of the grass? Is it for the goats or animals? Yeah, that that grass is you know that time there was no torchlight. Oh, okay. So to use they use that gamba grass mm. to light up mm -hmm. and then to be seen each time they want to go out in the night. Right. As a torchlight. Is the light going out in the night? Okay, it depends. Okay. <laughs> so. That is, this item will continue to be given annually. Annually? Yes. Okay. As long as they do, okay, why yeah. they are still small? Small. Yes. Okay. The parent will continue to take it of the, of the child. The parent of the female child. The no, the parent child. of the male child will be given a gift. Will be given to the parent of the okay. female. female child. Female child. Okay. By that time, he was at the age of four. Mm. And she's at the cradle. Mm. 
not until she reaches the age of 15 to 16. So they will stop giving. They will stop giving. That is when the day they will fix it. That means if you have a female child, you uh, you really enjoy. <laughs> they giving you uh, gift every year. Wow, so at the age of 15 of the female or 16, that's when they will fix date for the marriage. Which he, is he, for the female, you know, when if he was at 14, uh, at 4, mm. then he would have been 19 or 20. Okay. And she is at 16. Okay. So, mm. so by that time, he has to go and farm. Mm. He wants to go and labor in the farm of his in law, mm. accompany his friends mm. to help them farming. Then quantity about three to five bags of that same dinner rice mm. and other items to be taken. Mm. All these processes they will not see each other. They will not see each they other. They will not see each other and you got anything mm. on like what's happening in our society. In our society today. I mean like they will not see each other after collect what about after collecting the rice every year and the mm. man says, I don't like this woman. Uh, will there be any remedy to that? No, you see it's a when the parent when the parent accepts it. Okay. Children, the consent of the parent is the paramount. Is the paramount. The they don't have any no choice. Option. No, no. To, no choice. To reject the child. No option. Yes. Ah. Oh, wow. Is <laughs> where. So let's see. After the 15, after now they now settle. Once it gets to the age of 15, mm-hmm. now they will now fix it. Fix, fix it the day for them to see for the first time. For the first time. Okay. So okay. if paraventure they see each other before. Will there be any penalty or is it a taboo? They will not even do that. They will not even allow that is, to that, is, that is according to the custom. Mm. He will never go there. Okay. So at what age should okay that man at what age should he be? By that time he will be at nineteen. Okay, nineteen. Yeah, okay. He will he must not be an old or no, an elderly no, no, man. No. Okay. The child will be at age of four mm. where his parents will now go to give for the hand of that woman in marriage. Which was at the cradle. So if I'm if I'm ten, if I'm five years old now, yeah. my mother will be going and looking for a wife for me. Yes. Your father. My father. father. Your father yes. will be, that's my father's mother now. Yeah. yeah. He'll be going around looking for a wife for me. Yeah. To marry at the age of fifteen. Yes. Whether I like the wife or not, I'll marry the wife. And you have to be my parents as a male child will be giving out things every, every year. Every year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What they what they try. What they try. <laughs> <laughs> every year. Every year. To, the Whoopi wife Why? family yes. every year, five bags of rice, and um, every year till after 15 years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what is right. Now, um, let's look at um, issue, uh, let's look at what uh, the moral values of, um, of Kuro people, the moral values of Kuro. The mm-hmm. Kuro people has the following moral values. Mm-hmm. Do they farm? They farm. They, farm they, are, well. they are agrarian nature. Okay. Mm. They stay where they are fertile land. Mm. They are solidly agrarian. Mm. They depend on farming. Mm. And then they have that preservation of peace and unity. Mm. Crow land like to peace and like to unite with any other diverse ethnic groups mm. where everybody find themselves. Okay. So okay, let's look at um, the moral values. Yeah, one other moral value is that they actually have absolute loyalty to their traditional rulers. Okay. Once you have been appointed as or crowned as a traditional ruler, all the subjects have absolute loyalty to you. Your yes is your yes. Whatever decision you've taken over, whatever have stand. Mm. And they have respect for elders okay. anywhere they find themselves. Mm. They respect elders. And then strictly adherence to societal rules and regulations. Okay. Once they are rules and regulations in society, every member of the Koro society is bound to follow. And then they are prompt in acceptance of innovation. Innovation, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, listen, in case you are tuning in, you are onto the program My Coach, My Pride on our force this video. The program My Coach, My Pride. And this different cultural right to believe as concerns marriage institution, funeral, festival, coronation, grace school, among us of different tribes in Nigeria. Of course, you and I know we have it to um, 250 um, ethnic groups in Nigeria, and of course, um, different languages, and of course, on the program, we look at this 
tried and what makes them unique and what makes them s separate and how they have uh, uh, contributed to um, development in Nigeria. Um, of course, the topic we are looking at today is, um, uh, or the, the tribe we are looking at today is Kuru tribe. Kuru tribe. And my guests have said that, that um, um, he had, the, the Kuru tribe is not just found in the natural state, as I said earlier, that Kuru tribe can also be found in different states of Nigeria. And of course, I'll be speaking with Mr. Ibrahim Mohamed Guadana. Guadana. Okay. So, um, let me tell us, there's this popular <laughs> place in Abuja called Asoko. Yeah. The Kuru has anything to do with Asoko? Yes. Okay. Uh, Kuru are the first set settler in Abuja. Okay. In about the 16th century or so. In Asoko, yes. 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 Kuru. That Asoko. Mm -hmm. Asho, it's supposed to be Asho, mm. is the name of a female elderly woman mm. who used to sell local beef. Mm. And her tribe is called. Okay. So people now, for easy identification, mm. have to let visit Asoko. Mm. It's supposed to be Asoko. Asoko. Yeah. So if you're, if, you're, if, if, you're, if you're familiar with that name, Asoko, if you're in Abuja, I, I know most people are familiar, especially those that are flying the. the Nyanya, Maraba, and Asoko. So the, how is his name for now? Asoko. They pronounce it Asoko. Okay, but, but in the abstract term. Okay, abstract term. We Kuru look at it as Ashoko. Ashoko. Yes, Ashoko. Yes, Ashoko. No, it's not Asoko. It's Ashoko. Ashoko. All right. Pronunciation of Ashoko. All right. So, um, uh, what we're gonna for? A musical break, uh, break now, okay? When we come back, the program continues. It is a program, Kuru. Uh, my culture, my pride now for this year. Now, well, I'll be opening the phone line uh, for you to call if you have questions to ask, contributions to make. Um, just tell us about what you feel about this tribe, and probably you can tell us what you feel or is different from all your, your tribe as well. But that could also go a long way to, you know, educate people. And inform them. They don't forget that the program is for us to share yes. uh, our different, you know, uh, tribes. Uh, what makes it unique? They are unique in their own ways. For us, for um, us to have a better society. All right. And the number to call is 0802 600 Four one eight or 0806 Mima broken. Let's go play this song here. When we come back, the program continues. Please don't touch the dial, don't go away. When I want to come back from this um, break, we're playing course, um, we responding to your calls and talk more about Kuru Tribe in Nigeria. Stay tuned, don't touch it down. <laughs> O piano, o dame o Ayoro Lazi, 
Okay, in case you are tuning in, you are to the program, my coach, my pride now for this video. Of course, we are looking at it. Um, uh, my coach, my pride is a program designed, okay, to look at different cultural rights and belief of different tribes in Nigeria as concerns marriage institution, funeral, festival, coronation, dress code, rituals, and among others. And of course, today we are looking at um, the Koro people in Nigeria. And of course, uh, and I have with me uh, Ibrahim Mohammed Kwangana, and of course, Ishaya Laba, aka Ajokoro. Wow, this song you're listening to um, is the, um, uh, the, the, the artist is here. Let me put it that way. Okay. Ishaya, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> What is the the lyrics? What is it all about? The lyrics is talking about mm -hmm. end time. End time. That the time is going. Okay. Let's come back to God. Oh my God. If you're a believer, mm -hmm. there is wickedness now on earth. Mm -hmm. So let's come back to God. Okay. And hold on our Which on people? Our, Nigerians or the world? The world entirely. Oh, okay, okay. So I sing it in my own language, language. to pass the message to my people. people. Okay. That's quite interesting. Yeah. All right, the number to call if you want to be part of the program, I want to ask questions, is 0802 600 7418. Our first caller here. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Where's your number calling from? Good evening. This is who? Oh, it's nice to have you, Prince. Oh, okay. okay, thank you. Mm. Okay. Where are you from? Hello? Where are you from? Hello? Hello, sir. Hello, are you hearing me? Yes, you are working bona fide. Uh, Kepano? Can, oh, the ma Batago? Okay. Oh, it's a bad It's a bad Email, email, email. Uh, it's a bad It's a bad deal. It's a bad deal. It's a bad deal. It's a bad Oh. oh, thank you very much. Okay, um, you you are ready. Yes. Okay, but let let us uh, while you are preparing, let me also let me discuss so that you uh, take out the hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Where's the number calling from? Oh, okay. it's nice to have you on the program. Back home. Yeah, thank you. Sir. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. And we have, uh, we are really enjoying it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we want to add the speaker to help us and to give us all of them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Some fashion for the yes. yes. This this for, for our village. Okay. Hello. Good evening. There's good. Evening. What's your name? Where you calling from? Uh, we, ha we, we are good. What about you? Okay, it's, it's nice to have you on the yeah. program, Panda. Yeah, I really enjoy the program. I'm proud that we said Koro in an indigenous Koro land. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beg your pardon. Okay, we lost the call. Sorry. Okay, so let's respond to the question. Yeah, Kuro tribe. Yeah, well, I, it's okay. He, is it Prince Nelson? Mm, yeah. Who asks that whether he's an Aosa? Are they known as Aosa mm. people? The answer is no. 
Kuro are not Afro. Hmm. But they intermarried with them. Okay. They stay with them. Hmm. They interacted with them. Okay. Most importantly, the acceptance of Islam hmm. religion okay. make them to diffuse cultural diffusion okay. into ourselves. Hmm. Kuro are known earlier on as paganism. Hmm. They worship idols. They have shrines and what have you in different forests. Mm. Each family has its own personal shrine mm. and there is a general shrine uh, for the community. Okay, the general shrine. shrine. So the small shrine, they will be the family. big shrine. Yes, at home they have a shrine mm. which they are worshipping ah. and there is general mm. one in the forest <laughs> for the entire well, community. Okay. So the small shrine and the big shrine they communicate. <laughs> now just ask. Yeah. There's communication. Yeah. Hmm. The communication here is that you as a family, mm. whenever you are in tribulation mm. or you want to seek for, 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 for any uh, prayers from mm. God, God's natural power, yeah. they pray at home, in their shrine at home. Okay. Something that concerns the entire community, maybe there is outbreak of epidemic, mm. that is when the chief priest now, mm. with the member and elders of the family, mm. now go there for community worship too. Hmm. That's the how it operates. Yeah. Okay, hello, good evening. What is the number calling from? Hello, 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 sir. Hello? Okay, this is Armed Forces Radio. Armed Forces Radio. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Eh, hey, hey, morning, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chichi about morning grill, yeah. 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 All right, I will do that. I will stay no, no problem. I will do that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So many calls coming in. Hello. Good evening. Where's another calling from? Hello. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. What is your name and where are you calling from? I'm Godia from Kaburi. Godia? Yes, from Kaburi. Oh, from Kaburi. Wow. Saburi. 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 Oh, Saburi. Okay, it's, it's nice to have you yes. on the program. I really enjoy the program, seriously. Okay. I like color people. They are very nice. Okay. You, okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you married? Yes. Sir? Are you married? I'm not. Okay, I will ask my guest to get a man from Kuru for you. <laughs> don't worry. You. No and don't just an only one, the one that is very rich. I know you like rich man. You like, okay? <laughs> okay, 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 I, okay. Uh, All right, thank you, sir. Bye bye. Don't worry. Thank you for calling me. Okay. All right. Yeah, good evening. Where are you calling from? Good evening. Good evening. Oh, it's nice to have you on the program. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I really enjoy the program. Thank you. And I learned a lot from the program. All right. Uh, because of the discussion, I learned that. If a man gives a female child, the parents will be receiving items from the female from the male family. Okay. If I was born, I never, I never appear will never come across in such history. Hello? Yes, I'll go on. I never come across in such history. But Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. That is what the program is all about: informing, educating, telling us um, what uh, makes other tribes unique mm. in their own way. <laughs> so many things, beautiful things about other tribes.
that you may not even like head of. So you are, maybe you just wow, things like this do happen or have happened before. That is what makes the program unique. Okay, so many calls coming in. Good evening. What is your name? Where are you coming from? Hello, good evening. Yeah, it's nice to have you on the program. This is John Ibro calling from Sabuwe. Oh, Johnny. My friend. John Ibro, John Ibro. Oh, Johnny, um, your friend is on the, <laughs> on the horse seat. Hello? Yes, it's nice to have you. What is your contribution? Thank you very much. I'm listening to the program and uh, I'm so much enlightened. And, uh, like now, I have idea on Koro people mm. and because I normally associate and close with them. Okay. So I really enjoy the program, especially the artists over there. Yeah. My friend. Okay. My friend, yes. uh, one love. So, one, love. <laughs> one love. One love. One love, you bro. Uh, thank you for calling in. I appreciate this. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Don Adichie. Okay, Don Adichie. Okay. My uncle. Identity date there. All right. Yes, that artist is my song. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm very, very happy. I'm very excited. Oh, thank you very much. God bless them. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank so. You, sir. Now, talking about Kuru tribe, um, uh, looking at the country today, we are, we, we don't need a Susea. <laughs> to tell us <laughs> what the country is, and we hope it's getting better, mm. or we get better. Um, what is um, from what uh, our core people upholds? Uh, is there anything you you feel Nigerians can emulate in their in their lifestyle mm. that could help to promote peace and unity in Nigeria today? Yeah. Mm. In their lifestyle, historically, Koro people are very, they have, they possess good leadership qualities. Oh, good leadership qualities. Mm, okay, sure. And when we talk about leadership, it touches across virtually all oh, aspects. Not just political leaders in yes. leadership. No. Because no, I know some people all. now, they will now, now, now be thinking of. One person now, the leadership. I say it. You no, know, it's not just that. For what he said now, it's not just political leaders alone. No, so continue. Yeah. And they actually imbibe the spirit of unity and peace. Okay. And it is a known fact that any society who the Dabajan ethnic groups are living in peace and unity, mm. there will be meaningful development. Okay. Development only occur in a place where there is peace and unity. Okay. It doesn't occur where there is crisis, rancor, and what have you. Mm. So poor people have that spirit. Mm. And again, like I mentioned earlier, mm. that I've said that they are agrarian in nature. Okay. You know, historically, when you look at Nigeria itself, were initially uh, yeah, ag being agricultural was the backbone very good. Of, of Nigeria Even when the crude oil had been discovered, mm. it was the, the, the revenue or, or the, the, the money realized from the agriculture mm. that was used mm. to build the refinery. Mm. Mm. Wow. Work in health That's quite interesting. Mm. So you see, the money they generated from agriculture, agriculture. was used to build refinery. refinery. <laughs> so now, Thank God, Mr. President is encouraging to go back to land, mm -hmm. farm, go back to farm right mm -hmm. there. We even have it during Obasanjo of mm -hmm. the nation. Mm -hmm. Because of the discovery of crude oil now, mm -hmm. we abandon agriculture. Okay. And that is why we are suffering now. Okay. So you made mention of quality leadership. Leadership, leadership. Yeah. And um, let's look at, in line with the leadership, uh, traditional, we have traditional rulers. Uh, what are they, how do you call your traditional rulers? Like traditional rulers. Yeah. We, the traditional rulers, we call them Aze. 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 Eze or Aze. 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 Okay, not Eze. No. We are saying you have to, you know, I want you to know. No, no, no. Okay, okay. 
but because of the dialectical differences mm. in some part of the country, mm. among crows, they have different names. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, listen to. Let's uh, have their name and what it means. Uh -huh. mm. Like if you look at Kubacha, we have they use Erekuru. Erekuru. Yes. What is the meaning of name Erekuru? That is the same as they are talking about. Okay. The king mm. of. Corona. Corona. Okay, Corona. Okay. Uh -huh. Like the little differences of uh, well, we have the Agora Zuma. Okay. All these names mentions mm. are referred to as the king. Okay. And our genetical differences. Yes. Lines. Okay. Mm. Quite interesting. Okay. Um stick okay, I I am not a big cause, okay, sorry. <laughs> but you can just keep track start calling, okay. Uh, 0802 600 7418 0802 600 7418 or 0806 396 3643 Hello Good evening Good evening, where's your where you calling from? From Okay, it's nice to have you on the show mm. My name is Aka Is who? Aka. Aka. Yes. Aka. Aka. Baka. Baka. Okay. It's Barcelona. Baka. Baka. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's. Okay. What do you have for us? Okay. What is the take uh, contribution? I wanted to. I wanted to keep in uh, what uh, the mind is saying concerning the issue of how we call the name of chief in Toruba. Okay. Uh, so where I come from, I emerge from a. Uh, Side. Okay. Mm. So, we call Kings. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you for calling in. Thank you. All right. Okay. That was a nice observation. Yeah. Okay. 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 Good evening. What's the number coming from? Good evening. Yes. It's nice to have you on the yes. show. It's uh, Mama Francis. Mama Francis. Yes, from uh, Oh, it's nice to have you, Mama. Okay. Well, I have a question. You mentioned the Astrolog. There are people main claim to be the set set line Astrolog, like a Baji. I don't know whether Baji are part of them. I don't know how many people met up this people. Thank you very much. As a Koro people tribe, as it, have they had anything to do with Badi people? Yes, they cohabitate. That is, cohabit, cohabit, rather. I, um, I understand the word cohabit, but I don't understand the context of okay, the word. Okay, when you say cohabit, because mm. cohabit can also mean, it's like, <laughs> their husband and wife, they cohabit, or yeah. men and female. Okay, what do you okay, mean? You see, historically, okay. the Badi colors are for he, Okay, okay. Which means the savior or protect our protector. Okay. You know, Koro are warriors, very good fighters. Mm. And those days, when there was invaders coming to attack the Magi, mm. the Koro neighbors would go and defend make it. a prison, a prison attack mm. against them, I mean, defending the Magi. Okay. That's why Bagi keep on staying side by side with them. Okay. And they gave their name Apoi. Okay, Apoi. Yes. Okay. But they are not the same. They are they not the same. Mm. Okay. Okay, so that, that is it. So they are not, but they look like, they look but like they are not. Yeah, in All right, just keep trying. 0802 600 7418 or 0806 396 3643. Hello. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening. Could you please turn down the volume? Good evening. Could you please turn down the volume on your radio set, please? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, 
good part of this uh, program. Yes, what is your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Yafudu uh, calling from Kwazulu, Niger. Oh, okay. Kwazulu. Thank you. Labau. Okay. Okay. You're not going there. You're not going there. You're not going there. What check by you are? What check by you are? I'm to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to <laughs> uh, how do you say? How do you say? Uh, 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 thank you in your language. La gode. Na okay. Na gode. La la gode. Oh la gode. I know. I know of na gode. Na gode is ausa. Ausa. La gode. The deepest in a, in the deepest way. Mm. La che you tuma. La che you tuma. La che you tuma. What's my goodbye? Say jeble. Say jeble. Yes. Okay. Say jeble. Say jeble. Say jeble. Say jeble. Say jeble. <laughs> oh, eight oh two six hundred seven four one eight or oh eight oh six three nine six three six four three. Colin, let's have the view or take on the program. My coach, my pride, my four six three one oh seven or seven FM. The tip voice of the Nigerian military with the best is good enough. So much to learn, so much information, so much um, uniqueness in terms of um, so much uh, attributes. Uh, the one has to do with Kuru tribe of um, of Nigeria, and of course you've said that it's not just a natural state. You can find them mm. in other parts of Nigeria, yes. and what makes them unique in their ways. So much calls are also coming in. Good morning, what's your name? Or where calling from? Because of time, when you call, do fast. Be fast about it. Tell us the name. Where calling from? And yes, hello. Good evening. Hello. Your voice is fainting. Could you please be audible? Yes. Okay, we lost the call. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Good evening. What's your name? We're calling from. We're calling from. Can I be given chance to do what? Sir? No, just for asking questions. No, you know you're free. Because when you say can I be given chance, <laughs> I need to know if you still share money. I will, I will tell you not to do that here. Maybe I'll call you later. <laughs> okay. Somebody like you is in this. Saying Wairi, Wairi, Wairi. That is good morning. Mm. Ninja State, Wairi. yes, Ninja State, Wairi. Mm. Okay. Then good if e good evening is uh, Inye Nago. Inye Nago. Inye. Inye. Inye Nago. Yes, okay. you got okay. it. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> 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 So every you every every tribe has is so unique. Yeah. Nigeria has a very yeah. unique, wonderful tribe. Mm. Um, a tribe that people can always learn a lot thing, a lot of things from them. Okay. Um. So because of time, <laughs> so what is the advice to Nigerians out there this evening? Because um, talking about peace and unity, progress, talking about oneness, talking about um, um culture. What? Your advice to Nigerians out there. Yes. My but before before that, let me see. Let's have this last caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Uh, in ye, in ye, in ye go. In ye na go. In ye na go. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, the man is done. Okay. Please be fast about it. Okay. My name is Andrew Abala. Okay, Andrew Abala. It's nice to have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I really enjoyed the program. Thank I'm you. We are very grateful. Thank you. Uh, more Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So, the last thing, sir. Yes. The, so the last thing I will have to say in regard to the 
cultural heritage is we all Nigerians should embrace peace and unity. Mm. Yeah. We should see ourselves as one and we shouldn't be idle. Mm. Okay. We should at least have a, a skills, okay. acquisitions, get skills that will help us to be independent. Independence. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, I would like to thank each and everyone listening to this. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your time. Mm. Really, we, we, we are saying thanks. We are saying thank you all. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, too, for coming to the program. Uh, Ibrahim Mohamed Wagana and Ishai Kalaban, a.k.a. Ajaguru. Okay, listen now. That is how far we can go on today's edition of the program, My Coach, My Pride. The program makes a return next uh, Wednesday from 6.30 to 7.30. So, very much thanks to my producer, Uncle Sam Sin. <laughs> Uncle Sam, okay, very wonderful man. He has you know, been very, very contributive to this program and doing all we can to make sure you know, we have guests that are always coming now. Uncle Sam, thank you very much for all you've been. Okay. Thank you so, very much. Have right. a nice, okay. nice. All right. So, listen, I do join us uh, next Wednesday. Okay, I'm going to leave here with a beautiful song here. So save for, um, yeah. Save Save right. Good night. Mm -hmm. Mahayana, of course, I'm a jet to also cost. Don't be a jammy. 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 Don't be a jammy